Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Tsunami warning. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Floating Sandbox. And yes folks, it has been a while since we played this game, but there has been a brand new update, and this update is absolutely massive. So, there's new ships, there's new tools, and yeah, we're going to get to test all this out here today. So I don't know if we're going to get around to everything as far as all the new tools and really get to go and get into the nitty gritty of each of them. But we're going to briefly uh, cover everything and I'm super excited. So what you're looking at here, this is a Titanic model. And uh, we actually checked out a Titanic and Sinking Simulator the other day that had an interior. Uh, this one has one too, but... Check this thing out. This thing is fully labeled. You can see the crew quarters. Uh, you've got the boiler rooms, which are uh, numbered there. Uh, there's like the third class, I guess, cabins in the back, propeller shaft, fresh water tanks. This thing is really detailed. Now, we've destroyed many, or I should say countless Titanics uh, in these games, but we're going to be doing something a little bit different here. There is a new tool here, and this is probably one of the most exciting ones here. If I go down, there's something called Trigger Tsunami. So if I were to click this, uh-oh. Uh-oh, there's an earthquake happening underwater. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Tsunami warning. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, I've been waiting for this. So do you guys think the Titanic would stand a tsunami? I'm going to go with a big no. On, here it goes. Oh, it's washing it up. Look at the stress. Look at it bend. Oh, no. Is it going to stress beyond a point of repair? Uh, wait. Wait. Oh, look at that. It just ripped it. Oh, there it goes. It just exploded the boiler rooms. Holy man, that was so epic. Okay. Yep, I've got a big stupid smile on my face right now. We have tsunamis and floating sandbox. There's so many possibilities with this. So there goes the tsunami. Now I did notice it spawns one in the other direction. So I guess if you move the ship around and oh, I forgot about the sad music. Yep, farewell. Uh, Titanic, that's probably the quickest we've ever sank it. Actually, I take that back. I'm pretty sure we put some proximity bombs on this once or twice. So let's go ahead and reload that model real quick. Because I want to check out some of the other tools. Oh, it's making such a ruckus. Hold on, I guess we should watch it hit the seafloor real quick. Oh, how I've missed you floating sandbox. There we go. She's coming to rest on the bottom of the ocean, and it's making so much noise. <laughs> so there's a lot of new features here. I think there's a new debris system. There's a... Is there another tsunami coming? What the heck? There's another one coming. It's okay, tsunami. The Titanic's already gone. All right, I think we've caused a little too much chaos here. Yep, the Titanic looks like it's about settled. So, let's go ahead and reload it real quick. Uh, we're going to turn off the tsunami and the music real quick. All right, so we are back, and we have turned off the tsunamis. Uh, they are epic, but I don't want them randomly happening when I'm trying to destroy these. So we can trigger those at any time. Now, you can also trigger a rogue wave, which if I go to the settings here, uh, we can go to winds and wave, and you'll see down here, you've got the tsunami rate and the rogue wave rate, which you can turn them up and down. I'm assuming it makes them, uh, I guess, where it generates more of them, but I don't think you can adjust the height on those. Now, there is another tool, though. We've got the wave maker tool, which this is really cool cool you can create your own tsunamis so you can go as little as going whoop, and then dragging a little wave there uh you can go wait you can go down wait i didn't know you can go down with that oh look at that oh and that wave just kind of blows there it's fine the titanic would stand that uh maybe not the second one you can almost create like a whirlpool hold on let's let's do this huh make it go all the way down keep dragging keep dragging how far can we go Oh, and it just punches back through. Oh, you can hear it crunching. It sounds like bones. Oh, oops. Oops. That's my bad. You know this Titanic, I've noticed the two times it's gotten hit by a wave, it kind of breaks along these boilers. That's uh, interesting. So yeah, you can create your own waves now. So you can go down, and it seems like that's about the limit as far as going down. Or you can go up. So if I were to go... Whoop, you can keep going up, 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 
and you can get about as high as the tsunami but you can create some really really funky wave combinations and I think that's so cool they've added this. So between this and the rogue waves, you can get a ton of different little uh, scenarios with the uh, waves, which is really cool. And I really am happy this is in the game now because that's the one feature this felt like it was missing. Uh, not necessarily the tsunamis, but just the ability to have waves. So the other day, we actually did another thing in Sinking Sandbox. We were trying to make the Titanic somewhat sink. I wouldn't say realistic, but somewhat realistic so we were trying to punch a hole and we were doing it somewhere over here oh there we go so we we're saying this is about how it got hit say on the uh, side of the iceberg so we're gonna see how this thing fills up i'm kind of curious so you can see the cabin holds are filling up right now uh that's gonna slowly fill up to the stairwell question is is the stairwell sealed because next step is the crew quarters uh, you've got the boiler room, so boiler room 6 is filling, 5 is starting, or actually 6 is done, uh, 5 starting to fill, uh, it might be somewhat sealed off here, I'm curious about this. Can we get a, uh, sink a little closer to the Titanic than we did in, uh, sinking simulator? Okay, boiler room 5 has now, uh, taken on a lot of water, we've got this little section in between, boiler room 4 is starting to take water, that's all I've done, I've only punched a hole here, question is, you know, I'm gonna leave this alone. Uh, last time I kept trying to play with it, like, alright, well, maybe we need to add a little damage here and there. We're gonna leave this alone and just see if we can get a, uh, a sink here. And then we're gonna move on to some other, uh, tools. I don't know how many of the new ships we're gonna cover here today, and even really dig into the new tools. I kinda wanna just graze over everything. Dude, I think this thing's actually gonna, like, legit sink. Uh, there is no sort of really sealed area here, because you can see the boiler rooms. Uh, they've all spilt over, it's getting into the engine rooms now. Uh, next are the, uh, is that say art cargo hold? Maybe that's what that is. And then it's gonna start going up there. there. Now even the, uh, the crew quarters, uh, it's starting to fill. You can see where the water line is. Uh, it's right up to the deck there. Oh, this is gonna be devastating. Now question, when it finally gets to the point where it's starting to get a lot of stress under it, is it gonna snap? Is the rear end gonna go up? I'm curious here. Alright, let's leave it alone, let it sink some more. This looks cool. This uh, might be the closest attempt yet. Uh, let's look at the rear section. Propellers are still under the water right now. Oh, it looks like a sad face. It's starting to frown a bit. <laughs> okay. How much of this can you take, though, is the question. Uh, okay, the first stack is starting to go under the water. Or first funnel. Oh, boy. Uh, I think I'm hearing some sort of tearing going on. What is that sound? Uh, I'm not really sure. Okay, the front has pretty much disappeared. Uh, the second stack, second funnel's now going under. Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. There goes the back end. It's starting to go up. Oh, man. Is it going to snap? Uh, I don't know. It seems like there's a nice compartment, like right here, where not much water's getting in. Uh, I think it's gonna be enough though. I bet it breaks here. At least I, I'm hoping it breaks. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, she's trying. Uh oh, is the C4? Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, look at that. The back part's breaking. All right, that's not where I thought the snapping was gonna be, but it started to snap. Oh, look at that. It's so incredible. And she's starting to really take on. Look at all the bubbles and stuff. Yeah, she's taking on water everywhere. All right, there it goes. It's about to make contact with the seafloor. Probably should have made the seafloor a little, uh, a little more down, but this is fine. Oh, it's gonna grind into it there. Oh, wait, is she doing a handstand? Wait a minute. Wait, we might be doing a handstand here. Is it gonna flip over? I am so confused by this right now. This thing has went straight vertical. Oh, look at that, it's breaking. Oh, it's just too much pressure, it can't handle it. There it goes. Oh, oh man. Oh, that's cool, all right, it's completely underwater. It hadn't completely flooded the freshwater tanks. And look at the engine rooms. The engine rooms are surprisingly dry, and there's a cabin. What is this? Can't read, that is the something saloon. I think it's a saloon. 
Yeah, it's managed to stay up, but yeah, everything else, it's going down. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, we, we tried. We could say we tried on that, but wasn't quite completely successful. It was entertaining, though. I like watching this thing go down. There it goes, and she's going to come resting at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, wow. Look at that. All right, well, that's pretty epic. It's probably time to cover some new tools, and let's switch ships. All right, so we're ready with our next ship here. We've got the HMT Olympic B. I don't know if this is like a wartime paint job. Like, I think this is supposed to be like this. Yeah, because you can see the rust marks and stuff. That is, that's something. That looks awesome. Uh, the model's really nice. Uh, really, really nice drawing of this. So, we're going to test out some of the other things that we can do. Of course, we've already been over the tsunami, the rogue waves, which the rogue wave is a smaller tsunami. I don't know if I exactly touched on it. Uh, let's see. We've got the scrub. Now, there's a new tool here called the repair structure. I haven't played with this yet. I can only assume what this does. So, let's go ahead and go to smash. So let's go boop. Oh, no. We smashed a hole. Okay. So, if I were to go to repair. Oh, it's a little wrench. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, you can fully repair ships. Are you kidding me? Oh, that is so awesome. You know, I always thought that was the scrub tool. We still haven't really figured out what that did, but a lot of people were like, oh, it repairs the ship. And it's like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> There's actually a repair tool now. Hold on, so you're telling me I can maybe slice here? So let's go slice. Oh, no, we cut a hole in the, uh oh, I don't know if we're gonna fix this. This might've been too much. Okay, let's start repairing. Can we weld it back together? Oh, we can! Oh, right, we can fix this. We can fix this whole thing. No, 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 Work, work, work on it, work on it. Let's see if we can resurf. Oh, this thing's going down, isn't it? No, I can't keep up with it. I can't keep up with it. Okay, so maybe the repair tools for something, maybe like little holes or gashes, not, not cutting the ship in half. I mean, it looks cool. Oh, this thing almost has like no compartments. It's like just straight flooded areas. Okay. Oh, it's gone. She's gone. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Uh, let's maybe, hmm, not the flood. Uh, maybe we'll, let's just try to smash it. I was gonna say, let's put an antimatter bomb on it. And I was like, no, that's not gonna work. All right, let's give a couple smashes here. Let's go, there we go. All right, so let's go to the repair tool. So that, that's pretty cool. I'm glad they added this. That's a pretty neat tool. So you can actually uh, maybe take out the water there and you could repair any ship now. As long as the damage isn't too catastrophic. <laughs> okay. That, yeah, that's something that the game needed. So I was also thinking here, you know, something we didn't try. Is there a difference here? Okay, so I always forget about ultra violent mode. And yeah, that's like a, a mode that just kicks everything up to 11. Does that actually affect the tsunami? Hold on, let's go ultraviolet mode, apply. Uh, let's go ahead. Is there a trigger button for this, or do I just... I guess I have to go down here and actually hit trigger tsunami. All right, let's trigger this. Oh. Okay, so the ultraviolet tsunami is a wee bit bigger. It actually spawned right on the ship, too. Oh, that thing didn't even have a chance. Okay, so I'm glad we did that. I'm pretty sure somebody was gonna say, Komodo, you didn't turn the tsunami and ultra violent mode on at the same time. And there you go, folks. Uh, that is what it does. <laughs> ah, look at this. We have a new Lusitania model, which I'm almost 100% sure this is new. This thing is really, really good looking too. There's like three different models. You got some of the more, uh, I guess you could say, I wouldn't say cartoony, but a little bit more MS Paint style drawings. And then you have some that look like they're hand drawn. And then you have some that look like actual like pictures in the game. So it's a nice little mixture. So if I'm not mistaken, this thing got hit by a torpedo right in this area here. Uh, I think we should do something a little more extreme to it here. So, there is a new wave setting here, which we haven't really played with. You can actually just create waves, kind of like you do in Sinking Simulator. So, I can adjust the height here. Okay, let's go ahead and apply. Oh, okay. That might be way more severe than the tsunamis. Uh, let's go all the way with it. <laughs> that is not right. Up, oh, up, oh, okay. Uh, we can adjust the width here. Let's go ahead. Let's go back this way with it. 
Oh, that looks insane. Uh, we can do the speed. Hold on, let's make it really fast. <laughs> That's like worse than a tsunami. <laughs> like, what the heck is this? How's it not broken the ship yet? That's actually a, a really, really good question. Is it hitting it so fast that it doesn't have a chance to sink? Hold on, let's go back to settings here. Uh, oh, oh, this is getting bad. Poor people. Oh, she's starting to break a little bit. Uh, hold on, let's see. What can we do here? Water density. Let's kick that up. And... Oh, <laughs> oh no. Okay, water density up all the way. I don't know what we're doing here. You know, water craziness. Let's let's go all the way. Oh, I don't even know what's happening right now. Yeah, we've uh we've done it here. We have completely done it. Okay, so is there any other tools here? That's just going crazy in the background. You still have the squirrel tool. You got the move tools. There's a move all tool, which I'm trying to figure that out. That was never there. I don't believe this is actually driving me nuts now. <laughs> I need to I need to calm this down. So there is a move all tool now. Now question: Can you spawn two things in now? Is there like a spawn new? Now you've got load and reload ship up here. I don't see anything about spawning in an extra one. It's kind of like okay, move all would be like hey, move multiple objects, but I don't exactly know if that's a thing or not, huh? So let's see what else we have. We still have the timer bombs, the RC bomb, the impact bomb, and the antimatter bomb. Which I think I might have said one of those twice. Let's see, we have the wave maker. The adjust terrain is still as crazy as ever. The scrub tool, still don't have much of a clue what that does. That's just kind of a thing. So we'll have to see. But it's been a while since I've seen this. So let's go ahead and put the antimatter bomb against the uh, Lusitania here. There we go. Yeah, I like to put them on opposite sides of the ship. That way to, it gives a really, really satisfying crunch. All right, here we go. Oh. Oh, here it goes, and there goes the ship. Oh boy, and it's gonna spit it out everywhere. There's gonna be a lot of debris in the air. Yep, and look at all the particles. Oh, I'm waiting for it. Oh, they're gonna make one whole thing. Oh, there we go. So I think another thing that's changed here, you're gonna notice a lot more debris, I believe. I think I was reading as far as a preview last time that this was gonna be a thing. Yeah, look at this. Look in the water. You see all these little specks? That's the ship. That used to not stay here. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's raining specks right now. Yeah, there's stuff. Yeah, look at all this stuff still falling through the water. Wow. It is all the way out here. That is insane, the amount of debris that you can actually uh, create now. That's cool. Ah, oh, there's so many things to cover in the game. Wait, what is that way over? Oh, and if you look at the end of the map, something's... Wait, what is going on over here? Is that just like a wall or something? I think the debris either found a wall or... No, that's not a wall. What is that? Okay, we're going to ignore that we uh, we see that. Okay. You know, let's grab one more thing out. Okay, we're going to spawn something that's completely obscure, and I don't know why it exists, but it's a thing. Wait, where'd it go? Uh, oh, there it is. Yes, folks. A uh, grave digger has entered the mix. I, I don't... I don't get it. <laughs> it's cool seeing objects like this. Can we pop his tire? Oh, let's go ahead and slice one of his tires. Does that... Does that hurt him? Oh, yep. <laughs> the Grave Digger does take on water. This is odd. Wait, is it maybe the only the tire that fills, or is it going to fill up the rest of the uh, the chassis? No, is it... I think it stops at the tire. Okay. We can cut and give him a new tire here. Cut that. You don't need that. Is any of this loose? So if I cut... No, this is all pretty rigid in here. We got his little flag. We'll cut that off. Uh, we can cut up a new door here. Let's go. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. We got a new door. You know what? Let's give him a convertible while we're at it. There we go. A oh, oh, little cut there at the end. <laughs> this is a really weird object to have in the game, but I absolutely love it. You know what? Let's just blow it up. There we go. All the bombs. Okay. Good to go here. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> I guess that's the end of the episode, folks. <laughs> we crashed the game. <laughs> okay, that was too many at once, I guess. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for that episode of Floating Sandbox. If you guys want to see more, let me know down in that comment section below. Uh, we'll be bringing probably it and Sinking Simulator back for a couple episodes. So thank you guys for all the love and support, and we will see you guys next time. That was amazing.